welcome back again to another installation of four solar panels uh, of um, 525 watts each. These are the solar panels. One, two, three. The one there. Last one. Now, the brand of these solar panels is Longi. You can see this LR5. Check the terminals. Uh, you see it is boldly written there. Longi solar panels. Okay, check here. Come and see. Come and see. What you can see it's Longi solar panels. Yeah, yes, that's the brand of the solar panels. Okay, and today I'm quickly going to do a quick test for the parameters that have been stated on this nameplate to know whether it is true or false. I'm also going to explain what all these things mean. You see, we have a lot of parameters: rated maximum power, power tolerance. Let me just go from the beginning. Now we have here rated maximum power or P max. P max simply means the highest amount of energy that this solar panel can produce in under ideal conditions when the sun is at its peak. That's P max. Then power tolerance is zero to three percent. It means this solar panel at that ideal condition cannot produce less than five twenty-five watts, but it can produce three even three percent more than that. To up to 540 watts if you do the calculation that's for the power tolerance and the voltage at p max which is voltage at the maximum power is bmp it's equal to 40.6 volts so when the solar panel is at its peak within the highest amount of energy then the operating voltage under load condition is equal to 40.6 volts when you connect it to the controller and it's charging the battery that is the load the operating voltage is 40.46 oh, okay. so normally because of losses and all other factors, you cannot get up to 40.06. Then also, the current at maximum power, IMP, is 13.11 amps. So at the highest amount of energy, you get 13.11 amps as the current and also 40.06 volts, 40.06 volts as the voltage, operating voltage, that's BMP. So when you multiply 40.06 and 13.11, you get 525 watts. Do the calculation. Then also we have VOC open circuit voltage now this is the when you measure the voltage between these two terminals open circuit means when no load is connected is an open circuit now at open circuit you get the maximum voltage of this solar panel open circuit gives you maximum voltage while short circuit gives you maximum current so at open circuits you have zero current and maximum voltage then at short circuit when you connect these two terminals together you have maximum current and zero voltage i'm going to test that soon then we also have the short circuit current IC, which is 14.12 amps. Then the tolerance for the VOC and IC is plus or minus 3%. Can be above or less than the rating here by 3%. So just do the math, then you know what the value is. Then also we have maximum system voltage. The system voltage is 1,500 volts. It means the total amount of voltage that is allowed for these kind of panels. When you connect them in series, especially for a solar farm, connect a lot of panels. Can connect up to 30 of these panels in series as long as the voltage altogether. Because when you connect panels in series, the voltage add up. As long as the voltage does not exceed 1500, you are good to go. But if it exceeds 1500, that's the operating voltage, then these solar panels will, will damage the solar panels. That's what the system voltage is. Then the maximum series fuse rating, when you want to use a fuse to connect, especially for those big systems, those big solar systems, you need the maximum fuse rating that to be at 25 amps. Then the operating temperature minus 40 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius. You can operate at this temperature as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius, extreme cold condition, conditions and also extreme hot conditions. Then potential class, class two, which is stars double insulation to protect against electric shock. Then we have the STC, the standard test condition. It's AM 1.5, that's inclination angle. Then we also have 1000 W per M square. 1,000 watt per meter square means the amount of energy per meter square. Then the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius in the lab. This is lab testing conditions, STC. So before we end this video, let me just do a quick test. I'm going to test the voltage, open circuit voltage of this panel. I'm going to bring it down and see what we get at the end. So let's see. Just take your multimeter, put it to voltage, DC voltage. Then test. One thing I like about the solar panel is that the 
seminars are long, very long, more than more than a yard. So let's test. Just put the positive probe there. The negative put it here too. We have 45.8 45.8 volts. That's the open circuit voltage. Remember what we got here, what we have here is uh, about 47.73 because it is just past nine. The sun has not actually started shining so bright yet. So, but let's also test the short circuit current. So we are going to short circuit these terminals now and see what we get. <laughs> so this is my meter, it's an AC and DC meter. I can measure AC current and DC current. So let's see what we get. So this is five. Come and show them. This is 5.11, 5.1 amps. The sun has not started trying this six amps, okay? Yeah. You can get up to six. Remember the tolerance is plus or minus three. And the short circuit current here is 14.12. So if you subtract 3 from it, let's say we are going to the lower side, subtract 3, that's about 11 or 10 amps, then we're able to get 6 because the sun has not started shining so brightly yet. It's just past 9. This is the time. So 10, we get. So that's it. So that's it for this test. And uh, so far, so good. We can say that this panel is actually a nice panel, long solar panels. It has lived up to, up to expectations so far. You get. So all the parameters here, from the test we did is not far from what is written here so these solar panels are original panels and uh, i want to be connecting four of these solar panels to a 3.5 kva hybrid inverter over there i'm going to show you that one too in a separate video so for now i think that's all for now if you have any questions please put them in the comment section and also um i'll be there to answer your questions and uh, i'll see you soon so make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Info and more tips on how to do this kind of things to connect solar panels to test and to give some explanation on about all these things, all these technical parameters. So thank you very much and uh, I'll see you again. Bye.